just listens to every prayer that we make say I always take Guruji with me no matter where I go I say Guruji and he stays with me I don't know where to start really my journey started with Guruji in 2014 the darkest times of our lives my uncle got cancer he had leukemia and the doctor said, you know, it's like he will be in and out of the hospital. I think I shared this before. And luckily, um, a transplant came. As, uh, it was stem, uh, stem cells. And we were so lucky that he had the stem cell plan. And he was fine after that. It has been eight years. He's fine. He's great. Doctor says, what a blessing. He, we are not out of the woods. He will go every year and get a check, blood work, and all that. But Guruji, jitna shukrana come a bonus life milia dono ko. It's like last year. I've shared a lot of satsangs before. Not last year. I think it, it was 2021. I was sitting in this temple. Guruji gave us. Uh, I think it was October, month of October, and I started itching under my arm, and I said, I don't know, it stings, something stings, I don't know what it is. Um, I forgot all about it, every now and then it would sting, and I said, I don't know what it is, but it feels like something, like a needle, but it can't be, right? So one day I was sitting at home, it was the month of December, so many months passed by. In December I was sitting at home and it just started feeling again hurting and when I touched it, it hit my finger and made it bleed. It was that sharp. So I told my husband, I said, we need to go to the urgent care, something's wrong. It might be a pin in there or something. I could never think it's a sewing needle. I could never ever think how absurd can it be. So he took me to the urgent care and I told the doctor, I said, I don't know, it's just something feels sharp and it's seeing me and look at my finger, it's bleeding. And he said, uh, what do you think it is? What happened? And I said, I think it's a needle. My mouth is sticky and dry. I don't know, I need some water maybe. Thank you. It's also from the medicines that I'm taking, it's, it's making the mouth dry and sticky. Sorry. I, the technician came to me and she said, what happened? I told her this. She looked at me, gave me a weird look. She said, how can that be if you think it's a needle? She wouldn't believe, so she took the x-ray. And oh my God, she was so surprised. Thank you, Uncle. She said, you are so right. Come here, let me show you. And she showed me in the x-ray machine, there was a straight needle, like a thin needle, and with the, with the eye, I could see the eye. I could not believe, how can that happen? How could that happen? I sew a lot, but even if you sew or you put something needle in here, how can it get in there? Oh my God, everybody was so bothered. He said, I can't do anything. You will have to go to a surgeon. And he gave me the appointment. I called, went to the surgeon. He said, really? He, he felt it. And he said, okay, I'm in the office. I can take the needle out. I said, wow, that's great. He started taking it and listened to this. How absurd again, half a needle came out. Half a needle was still there. And I told him, I said, no, there was a full needle. I saw it. He said, how can it be? I only found half. And I, he said, okay, go for another x-ray. I went for another x-ray. And sure enough, a foreign body in my body. And he said, okay, we have to do surgery, but I can't do here. You will have to go to uh, the surgical center. So it was January the 7th when I went 
um, for surgery and got it done. They took it out. That was one thing. Again, thank you, Guruji. I don't know. A needle could have killed me. It could have moved. It could have done anything. But what a blessing. Again, thank you, Guruji, for the blessings. Every second for those blessings. And now recently, I want to share my recent satsang that just happened. I was at school on January the 10th. And there are a lot of steps in school because they're in Philadelphia, they, the schools have lots of sets and sets of steps. So I was like on the third floor. I did, it was a hard day. I came out, it was dismissal time. I took the kids um, to the lunchroom I was going to take them because if they are not picked up by the parents, then you take them to the lunchroom. And when I was going to the lunchroom, my, I was looking down. The, it was kind of dark and it was all concrete. I missed a step. And the minute I missed the step, I hit my head against the wall and my back. I, everybody was around me, the vice principal and everybody. And I said, I'll get up, I'll get up. My knees are replaced, don't help me. I will stand up. And I stood up and they said, are you okay? I said, yeah. They said, make sure you report. You go upstairs, go to the um, you know, principal's office and report for uh, this injury. I went upstairs, I returned the key. I didn't feel like saying that I got hurt or anything. I came out of the building almost at the last door when I was there. Again, I missed the step. And this time I didn't fall, but I missed the step. And I came out crying. I said, thank you, Guruji. I don't know what day it was. The way, what kind of day it was, my, my karma was in the way, what, what it was, I don't know. But I didn't get hurt, and I didn't report. They asked me, the principal said, email, emailed me the next day, please, 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 you know, call, call this number and report that there's an injury. Sometimes you don't feel it, it's a head injury, it can hurt, whatever. It didn't hurt me, I came to the temple, I did my seva, nothing happened, but two weeks ago, it started hurting. My back was hurting like so badly. So I went to urgent care and they did x-rays. Everything was fine. He said, you know what, you, how lucky you are. He said, you count your blessings because there is no fracture, no nothing. It's just the bone is, is irritated. And he said, I can't give you an injection because the nerves are it, it, irritated also. So he gave me prednisone, and that prednisone is making my mouth dry at night, in the morning, every, every morning, like even the um, medicine, no matter how much water I drink, my mouth is sticky and dry. But I, since I didn't work pen comp, I went to urgent care again to get an injection because of the pain. Can you believe they would not give me injection? They said, we won't even see you now because you are hurt in school. They asked me, where, where did you fall? And I wanted to be honest. And they said, in school? No, 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 that's work. So we won't deal with this. They won't give me the injection. So one of the sangats, the sangat, oh my god, I can't, I, I, I don't have words to say how much I love you. I love you, Guru Parivar, mera sabse bada parivar hai. Two weeks ago when I missed, I didn't come to the temple. My, Sung from my Sangat, Neelam auntie, took the langar to me. 45 minutes drive in that rain. That week was raining, weekend was raining like anything. I can't appreciate enough that she brought us langar at home in that rain and 45 minutes drive going and 45 minutes going home. Or maybe that day took her longer because of the rain. How much am I blessed? Again, thank you, Guruji. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And so many blessings for everybody who cares so much. Um, I am just thankful. Shukrana, Guruji. Shukrana, Shukrana, Shukrana. I don't know what else to say, but please, please, please keep your faith because Guruji ko saath leke chalo, wo hamesha bachate hai. Mein pata nahi kitni baar giri hu. कितनी बार मुझे कोई चोट नहीं लगी मंदिर में गिरी हूँ एक बार तब भी कोई चोट नहीं लगी इट्स जस्ट इट्स अ ब्लेसिंग इट्स अ ब्लेसिंग फ्रॉम द सत्संग फ्रॉम गुरुजी फ्रॉम एवरीबॉडी थैंक यू आंटी थैंक्स सो मच एंड थैंक यू
Guru ji needs your seva, so you have to keep walking. Yeah, I have to. That's what I was missing. I was missing the seva, and I got langar. Last week, uncle came and he brought the langar, so I got langar for two.